Several thousand rockets have been launched into space since they were first created, with varied degrees of success. Some of these were merely sounding rockets, but others were enormous machines like the Saturn V rocket, which stood 363 feet tall. However, there has been a steep learning curve for launching rockets into space, and even now, little mistakes or unanticipated events can have disastrous results. We will discuss the disastrously unsuccessful rocket launches in this video. Before you watch this video, be sure to like it and follow our channel for future updates. Number 10. The Alcantara Explosion. 21 persons were killed when a Brazilian rocket that was being used to launch observation satellite prototypes exploded in 2003. One of the primary thrust engines caught fire accidentally while being repaired, which led to the explosion. The explosion claimed the lives of 21 persons in total. Due to the severity of the burn, they were only able to recover the remains of two of them. In fact, because there weren't enough remains to identify, they had to conduct a roll call to ascertain the precise number of fatalities. The rocket was technically the third prototype in the series to fail, although it was by far the most serious of the three. The 62-foot rocket cost $6.5 million to manufacture, weighed 50 tons, and had 40 tons of fuel on board. This rocket was intended to catch up to other nations that could launch satellites after earlier attempts had been unsuccessful. That was obviously not the case. Number 9. The Nedelin Catastrophe. The Nedelin accident, maybe the worst rocket disaster in history, occurred in Russia in 1960, but word of it wasn't brought to our region of the world until 1989. Given the magnitude of the catastrophe, Russian officials did an admirable job of keeping it under wraps. It was stated that 78 people perished, however other accounts assert that between 90 and 126 people perished as a result and 120 more sustained non-fatal injuries. The misfire that burst a fuel tank and destroyed the missile is thought to have been caused by a short circuit in the primary sequencer of an AR-16 prototype rocket. Interestingly, a camera that was active at the time captured the explosion as it happened. The incident was quickly covered up by the Soviet administration. Everyone engaged in the incident, including the base's commanding officer, was alleged to have perished in a plane crash. The Italian news nearly immediately reported that it was a rocket explosion despite their cover-up, and a Soviet spy later corroborated the information. But until 1989, the Soviet Union made no mention of the mishap. Number 8. Falcon 1's Faulty Nut as was the case with the launch of the Falcon 1 rocket in 2006, sometimes the smallest things can have huge effects. Just as the rocket was leaving the launch pad, a fuel leak in the SpaceX rocket caused the main engine to catch fire. A tiny aluminium nut intended to support a fuel pipe fitting was found to be the source of the fuel leak. It appears to have experienced some corrosion, which was not immediately apparent but was significant enough to result in fuel leakage. Pneumatic pressure was lost as a result of the gasoline leak that caught fire when the engine caught fire. The engines then shut down after only 34 seconds as a result of some fuel and oxygen valves closing. Falcon 1 then returned to Earth and crashed into a reef not far from the launch site. The rocket's satellite payload was really propelled into the air when it collided and then landed next to the truck that had originally carried it there, on a shed on a nearby island. Number 7. Falcon 9's faulty strut. Elon Musk and SpaceX were having issues with their Falcon 9 rocket nine years after the Falcon 1 rocket failed. It's thought that a malfunctioning strut inside the booster's upper stage led to the rocket's explosion soon after launch. On behalf of NASA, the rocket was en route to the space station to replenish supplies when a strut holding down a canister of high-pressure helium broke. The booster liquid oxygen tank then had an overpressure event as the bottle shot like a bullet out of the top. It led to the rocket blowing up, to put it simply. Number 6. Proton MS Chain of Problems. Russian Proton M rocket failures frequently occur either during or soon after launch. Between 2008 and 2013, five of the 53 launches were unsuccessful. 10% may not sound like much, but when we're talking about rockets that cost millions of dollars and have the ability to explode so violently that no human remains are left behind, it's a significant problem. The worst aspect of the ongoing Proton M problems, which have increased since 2013, is that they ought to be anticipated. 
For instance, a malfunction in the turbo pump for the third stage steering engine contributed to the Proton M rocket's failure on May 16, 2015. Number 5. The Vanguard TD3 Flop. The US and the Soviet Union constantly sought to outdo one another during the Cold War. One of the biggest and most obnoxious ways for one country to humiliate another was the space race. It seemed obvious that the best way to showcase your nation's technical and scientific superiority was to travel where no man had gone before. Exactly because of this, the Vanguard TV-3 rocket was such a failure. To put the first satellite in orbit, the US and the Soviet Union were vying with one another. By launching Sputnik in October 1957, the Soviet Union triumphed in that competition. Before the US could attempt to present their own at the table, they responded with a second Sputnik. Rushing the process would have been a poor idea since their first attempt, the Vanguard Test Vehicle 3, in December 1957 only managed to rise an impressive four feet before it crashed and detonated. The US had two groups trying to be the first to the table, which meant that resources were stretched thin, which was the fundamental issue with this launch failure. Number 4. GOES-G didn't go. No amount of preparation can always stop a disaster from happening. In 1986, NASA attempted to launch the GOES-G satellite, however it was never successful. The launch appeared to go off without a hitch, and although it technically crashed due to a flaw in the design, nature appeared to have it in for NASA. Lightning struck the Delta rocket that was carrying the satellite after a minute of flight. The primary rocket engine was cut off due to a short circuit, and while a few boosters were still operating, the rocket started to lose control. NASA actually activated the rocket's self-destruct feature in order to lessen the damage and prevent further harm from being done if it crashed to the Earth. Technically, the rocket ought to have been able to withstand a direct lightning strike, however wiring issues led to a short circuit when the lightning struck. The event had a positive outcome in that rockets have since been improved to manage electrical surges. Number 3. Cosmos 1 Couldn't Sail For some time now, solar sails have been a common sight in science fiction. The seemingly absurd idea is constructing a sizable mylar sail to capture photons from the sun and use them as spacecraft propulsion. Even if the research behind it is valid, many individuals find the concept strange. Fortunately, individuals like Carl Sagan were all about exploring novel scientific methods and broadening our understanding of the world. Mission Control was strangely situated in a barn in Pasadena, while the rocket itself was scheduled to be launched from a submarine in the Barents Sea. The $4 million rocket was launched while Bill Nye the Science Guy and actress Kirsten Dunst were present for purposes unrelated to the mission. For 83 seconds, it succeeded in doing its mission before spinning around and crashing back into the water. The cause of the rocket's failure has never been precisely identified. Number 2. Mad Mike Hughes and the Flat Earth Rocket Most of the time, when you think of a rocket launch, you see the extensive science and engineering that went into building the rocket and enabling the entire event. The situation with Mad Mike Hughes and his homemade rocket was the exact opposite of this. It's not as if there wasn't any science involved or that Mad Mike was not a man of competence to even undertake such a task. The issue was that Mad Mike had constructed his homemade rocket in order to determine whether or not the Earth was flat. You have a problem if that is where you plan to launch yourself into space from. Mike, who had previously made two efforts to launch a rocket, was unfortunate in that his own launch in February 2020 turned out to be his last. The steam-powered rocket was designed to soar 5,000 feet, giving Hughes a vantage point from which to see the curvature, or lack thereof, of the Earth. Unfortunately, he had to climb a ladder in order to access the rocket. When the rocket fired and hit the other, the ladder was still in the way. The parachute container on the rocket's back was ripped open as a result. The entire situation was thrown off track when that got caught in the thrust. Before arcing back to the Earth, the rocket reached a sufficient height for hazard. Hughes had most likely passed away on impact when emergency personnel arrived on the scene. Number 1. The Challenger Disaster A list of rocket catastrophes would be incomplete without mentioning the Challenger disaster on January 28, 1986. The Challenger had been in space once before, in 1983, and had already logged more than 62 days there in that time. 
The Challenger crew, which included the nation's first female astronaut and its first astronaut of African descent, performed the NASA Space Shuttle program's first spacewalk. The shuttle detonated on the 10th launch just 73 seconds after liftoff, instantly killing all seven crew members. Due to the fact that the Challenger was never really designed to travel into space, it had a troubled past. It was designed as a test vehicle but later had the extra parts added to make it spaceworthy. However, there were issues with a hydrogen leak in the main engine and other systems, so that wasn't an instantaneous change. What are your thoughts on this video? Please share your thoughts in the section below. Do not forget to click the subscribe option if you want to hear from us again.